Over the last 35 years, I've pretty much done everything in the company uh, at some point in time. My current role is founder and CEO, and we're going to be changing that to be founder, chairman, and evangelist. In the beginning, the goal of the company was to provide tools that would make management of computer systems easier. We didn't specifically identify IT and environment monitoring as the goal at that time. However, um, we started as a software company and quickly found that computer rooms, data centers were managed with very specific needs to protect and maintain the equipment. Uh, we shortly thereafter decided that providing tools that allowed us to monitor important concerns like temperature, humidity, flood, panic buttons, things like that, was a unique niche in the market and we began making hardware. We called it Room Alert and the rest is history. I started the company in 1988 and we had our first office in Irvine, California, which was a great place to start a business. However, the location did not allow us to reach Europe and the Gulf region very easily. So, in 1993, I relocated the company to Newport, Rhode Island, which was a very good move and allowed us to develop business in Europe and in the UK and in Africa. That's been very successful. Many of you know we reach 187 countries, many customers everywhere in the world. And so we've never looked back. Shortly thereafter the internet came out and now we can reach anywhere, anytime. The reality is I'm proud of all of our people on a regular basis and proud of all of our products and that sounds like you know a canned answer. Um, but the success of Room Alert as a worldwide product is something that I am very, very proud of. And when we were recognized by Mark Hayward and the Small Business Administration as Exporter of the Year in 2018, that really meant something to me. And I think that is still one of the proudest moments. The reason I'm proud of that is it took our whole team to develop a commitment and a strategy to approach different markets, to be successful selling, to set up a reseller and a distribution network that could successfully serve those countries. And then to be recognized by the US government as one of the most successful small businesses of the year doing that is huge and so a lot of times when I'm talking with people I don't know that's one of the things that I talk about because it's a team effort and I'm proud of that. I think a CEO has to obviously have the ability to lead but more important is the ability to analyze not just the people, the markets, and the products that are going to be addressing different needs within that market. They have to have the ability to motivate people, to get them to act as a team, and uh, create a strategy that gets people there. The leadership that we've developed in the middle and with Rick taking on the new role is very strong. He has the ability to corral people in the right direction, to motivate them, to have them enjoy personal development along the way. And I, I know some of the secret places that we want to take this company and I'm very confident that he's going to get us there. I think the Advice that I would give any CEO, and especially Rick going forward, is to not take anything too personally. So we're going to move the company in directions that other people may not always see make sense. But we have inside information as to what we're doing and why we're doing it. And as you go along that path, not everybody is going to compliment you and cheer you on for going in that direction. But you have to have the inner confidence to say, I know where we're going and we're going to get there. So I think just develop tough, thick skin, uh, rejoice when things work out right, shake it off when they don't, like Taylor Swift says, and uh, just take each day as it comes. Well, Rick and I have worked together for 22 years, and 
I have great respect for Rick. Uh, he's obviously smarter than I am in a lot of different technical areas and I appreciate that. Uh, and we try to basically work together in a way where we can leverage each other's unique knowledge but also learn from that. I think the reason that this is a good time to move forward is because Rick has earned this opportunity. I started five years ago to think about how do I exit my own company. Um, we're 35 years into it. I still love AvTech, I still love selling, I still love meeting customers, working with resellers, but the reality is I need to step out of the way and let some of the younger people take us to the next level. There are newer ideas, newer techniques, new energy and people deserve a chance so i'm basically moving aside to let rick take us to the next level and uh, i'll be cheering everybody on and i'll still be supportive and i'll always be uh, a whisper in his ear in terms of you know if he has a question or wants to bounce an idea and we do that basically every week <laughs> probably more than either of us want <laughs> but uh, it's worked out quite well and i have extremely high confidence that Rick is going to take us to new levels.